Woman sleeping on top of blankets outside. Source, Getty Images A pastor kicked out his sister for her sins and didn't know if he made the right choice. Many years later, he found his niece in a precarious situation and faced the same difficult decision again. You're not a God's man, Thomas. God will not be kind to you. Thomas' sister, Erica, yelled as she exited his house with a baby in her arms. Thomas' shoulders were hunched, but he couldn't do anything. Erica had an affair and got pregnant. She came to her brother's house asking him for shelter. Her husband, now ex, was a prominent member of Thomas' Protestant church, and as a pastor, Thomas couldn't have her in his home. His colleagues would disapprove, and the congregation would judge him for harboring a known sinner. For illustration purposes only source, Pexels left with no choice, Thomas kicked Erica out, but not without hearing the harsh words coming out of her mouth. Was she right, he wondered but had to let go of those thoughts. You're right. This is not the right place for me anymore, he told him. The following day, he talked to his mentor, Pastor Johnson, and told him what happened. To his surprise, Pastor Johnson seemed to agree with his decision. You have to do what's best for your family, and having someone like her in the house, considering your five children, that's not a good idea. Not to mention, your career in church would be on the line. This kind of situation is tricky, but we have to remain righteous. Although, Jesus ate with the sinner. It's really up to you in the end, Pastor Johnson advised, giving Thomas too much to think about. That night, he talked to his wife, Lily, who had noticed his introspection during dinner. She had been away at a play with the children when Erica showed up, and he didn't tell her anything until then. You shouldn't have done that, Thomas. It is not the healthy who need a doctor but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners, his wife quoted the Bible, making the pastor feel like a complete idiot. For illustration purposes only source, Pexel's Thomas knew his greed and ambition had motivated his choice, and it was not right. He only hoped he could make it up to Erica and that Jesus would forgive him for this sin. Unfortunately, Erica was gone. A woman from church thought she saw her taking the express bus leaving New Jersey. Thomas spent years trying to find her and praying for her and her child's safety every single day. About 18 years later, Thomas still carried the guilt of neglecting his sister. He never found her, and no one ever heard from her, not even her ex-husband, who had remarried years ago and was happier than ever. Seeing his smiling face only reminded Thomas of the pain of betrayal in his sister's eyes when he threw her out. He had kicked her out when she was most vulnerable, and that was a sin he had not been able to atone for even when he made it his mission to visit women's shelters and help those he could, including one particular woman he met on the street. He was walking down the street, thinking about his coming sermon, when he spotted the young woman sleeping on the sidewalk with a few blankets. He approached her, hoping to offer her some shelter in the church, and he saw her big pregnant belly. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.